Hello, Dreamlight Valley Villagers. This is Unbounded Play. I'm Lisa. Don't forget to subscribe and like to the video. And this is for update, I guess we call 5.5 for July 19th. We are running to get to this new update, which is tomorrow. Okay, so a lot of the video doesn't have a whole lot for us to kind of, you know, how we like to dig in and see if there's any clues. There doesn't seem to be any clues in here, but we do have uh, the shirt and possibly the shorts and the hat that will be new outfits or new items for of clothing that we can use in the game. Um, hopefully those will be gifted to us or we can earn those in some way rather than being I don't think they're a part of the premium shop because they do discuss some of the items in the premium shop as we go through the video. So let's go to the next frame. So the next frame, we have pretty much everybody just kind of hanging out at the beach. We have uh, same outfit, uh, the new items, the short, the sh top, and the hat that we could possibly be getting. Well, we're gonna be getting it in the new update. Um, there is speculation about the furniture and as we go through some of the slides here we can kind of see some of uh, I don't know if they're hints is that coming um, it remains to be seen so of course Vanellope is coming to the valley and we are so excited to have her coming and visiting she'll be visiting us uh, coming into the valley we also get to see her house um, there has been, I think it's cute. I mean, <laughs> a lot of the stuff is not, um, you know, it's sugary, tacky, kind of, you know, just fun. And um, I think it's just really fun. And it kind of is maybe one of those areas in like Wreck-It Ralph in the, um, in the sweet game that's in there. I don't know what the name of it is. Y'all can post what the name of that game was. I think I'm gonna have to rewatch the movie. But uh, there were areas that were more chocolatey, that had more of the dark colors, the dark chocolate um, in there. So I really like it. I think it's really fun and sweet and um, it brings a lot more color. I mean, it's just really colorful. So I hope y'all like it too. So there were a couple of examples. I just have the one of what the photos, like kind of the example, you could kind of add things as you're going along, you know, a table with the accessories on top, maybe some trees in the background. This is kind of what they're looking for in this dreamscape, dream snap, um, inline multiplayer kind of interaction uh, so that we can receive, you know, more moonstone. So remember we get 300 moonstones per week by participating and 50 for voting. So you get an extra 350 um, moonstones on top of the ones that we get from the blue chests because you can get 50 moonstones from the blue chests each day, multiply by seven, that's uh, 350. So the total of 700. So check out my video. We talk about a little bit about uh, some of the description and how that's all gonna work from the creators. And, um, and obviously the breakdown of moonstones per week that we can earn. And we can earn more, like that's just the bare minimum. So if you're winning some of these competitions, if you're placing insert, I don't know if there's like a placement, like first, second, and third, um, you could actually earn more. And so you can see in this image, uh, you can vote on uh, which image that you want. And I don't know if you, if if we find out for sure right away if if that's a win on that particular image. Um, I don't know if people, like if there's just two and you pick out of the two and that person gets like an extra 10 moonstones or something. Um, tomorrow, I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, so July 19th is the coming update. So we're really excited about that. And you can see in this image, we have the tro possible trophy. I'm sure they'll be in different colors. Maybe each week is a different color or each month is a different color. And then we have the uh, blue chest for the moonstones that we typically get to open each day. If you're visiting the uh, valley each day, you get one of these blue uh, chests to get the moonstones. Now, I have gotten two in a day because I've missed, I wasn't at, in the valley on certain days. Um, so that does happen where you can 
possibly get two if you haven't been in the valley and you come in and maybe you find two as you're uh, working your way through the valley. So, but I really like the, the, <laughs> the uh, trophy. It's rather large. I was kind of thinking maybe it would be something we could hang on the wall, like an Animal Crossing. We have the um, rewards or kind of the award for your house, and then you can hang it on the wall, and that way you can have a whole bunch of them hanging on your wall. So maybe the, they'll be different each week. Maybe it'll be like one you sit outside, one you sit in your, like on a table, and then maybe some that you can hang on the wall. Um, that would be great if those could be different each time. So we see Merlin in his summer best. This is a premium outfit. Um, I believe the blue skins for uh, scuba diving is also a premium item. So it looks like you would probably get the whole outfit with the, uh, with this, um, the wetsuit and the, um, the oxygen. <laughs> I'm patty certified. I can't even think of what, you know, your regulator and your oxygen tank, um, your mask. And, uh, and if you typically you have a snorkel just in case, um, you know, as you're, uh, snorkeling across over the top, but this is definitely a scuba outfit. And, uh, we just love Merlin in these colors. I love the bright colors. We're getting bright colors with, uh, Vanellope coming into the into the valley, and then Merlin is finally getting a, a change of scenery on his outfit, and uh, so I love it. I'm totally going to buy this one. I mean, I, I I'm kind of stingy with my moonstones, but I will definitely get this for Merlin so he can have a change of his outfit. So I wonder if we're going to be able to choose a color, or maybe there'll be two different colors to choose from as far as the scuba outfit. And it looks like she has a new set of ears on her Minnie Mouse ears on top of her head and uh, with a nice little flower up there. And then we have the watermelon alligator. He is so cute. Okay, so I, I'm really liking the premium shop items. I just think this is adorable. <laughs> it looks like he has like kiwi and pineapple and maybe strawberries is that strawberries like all in the scales on his on his back um yeah he looks so good to eat right <laughs> oh that's adorable i love that okay so we have the beach house and this is so creative i just love it it's kind of maui ish uh south african kind of looking at it that's what it looks like to me it you know with the thatched roof and the framing and the the uh balcony on the outside kind of reminds me of that but with the surfboards on the side and this is just adorable i just would i'd love to have that on my beach um y'all let me know if you like some of the houses um do you, i mean do you buy them all does everybody buy them all um they are kind of expensive but with this new dream snaps and being able to get some more moonstones to buy some of these more expensive items. Are you more apt to go ahead and get some of the houses? Um, or are you saving your moonstones for maybe more outfits or furniture? So we have another house that we can get, which is the candy house. I'll call it the candy house. Candy crush house. That's the name of the game. Candy crush. <laughs> no, that's not it. Oh, goodness. I think I'm losing my mind. Anyway, this is the um, Candy Crush. I'm going to call it the Candy Crush House. Because there is a Candy Crush game that we've all had been addicted to that's been on our phone. I don't have it on my phone anymore. But um, it was fun, fun while it lasted. It was too much of a distraction. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is really cute. I love the, um, again, the little lollipops, the pop of color, just bringing more color to the valley. And um, I love the windows, those kind of sugar sugar uh, windows that are there. Um, I wonder if it lights up at night. That would be really pretty. I'd love to see that. 
with the light coming through those windows, um, the sugary orange sugary windows, uh, that would be really pretty when the when the sun goes down in in Dreamlight Valley. So we have a final beach scene here with Vanellope and our avatar that has his new outfit on with the short shirt and his hat. Um, I don't really see anything new here. Uh, there has been thought about the angling, the angle of where, how these chairs are in the image. And we'll kind of get to that as we move along here in the video. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Kind of the chatter that's going out there in the community about the placement of these chairs. And so the final image in the video, the tease video for tomorrow's update, July 19th, the, uh, we see that Vanellope is here. We've got Stitch in the background playing a little bit of music. And Olaf is so excited about something over there in the corner. The other thing is, is the chair is definitely on an angle. And we've got P Vanellope's car and her house in the background. Now what's missing here a little bit in the front is where the turtle is. There has been talk that the, I don't know, I mean, we can make something out of it. <laughs> or we can just go, ah, oh, it's just normal. He's looking at the bubbles, like specifically in the water, the bubbles. And my first thought is, as I'm talking about this, that's just normal in the game. But is it? Is there flounder in the water? Is Sebastian in the water? Um, you know, are there new characters coming that are going to be an underwater realm? And that I oh, I would love that. That would be great. I love I love that. All the I can't even imagine what this the whole sea would look like under the water. And would we be using the scuba outfit that is in the premium shop? Is that going to be something kind of like when we're in um, Animal Crossing that when we put our scuba outfit, our wetsuit on, we can go out into the water and you know, go around and dive into the water and stuff. Oh, that would be a whole dynamic to this game. And that it's just getting me oh, a little bit more excited about tomorrow's update. So we're going to take a look at some things on Twitter, people that are really excited about the game, uh, the update tomorrow and getting prepared for Vanellope's arrival. Um, can't wait to drop Vanellope's house here on Dazzle Beach. That would look so cute there. And <laughs> hype overload. I thought this was so funny. Oh, I don't know. It's the simple things that make me laugh. And then the chairs are placed at an interesting angle. So this is a little bit kind of, uh, there's been a number of people on Twitter chatting that the angle of these chairs um, maybe could allow us some, you know, variety in our placement of things rather than just being on the square uh that would be really nice if we if we could do that um and then somebody else mentioned so where it looks like we get to choose between either a prize or moonstones uh when we win in the dream snaps uh thing so um this is really exciting. There's a lot of things that could be happening here. Again, the interesting angles for the furniture. What's that about? Is that something that we're going to be able to um, manipulate inside the game? I would love that, especially for adding the um, any kind of you know stones, any of the paving, and for walking. It's just so kind of very sensitive and glitchy. Um, but here are some more images of people getting ready who have decorated. This is amazing. Like, I need her to come to my, <laughs> my house on Dreamlight Valley and decorate some things for me. This is beautiful. I love the face on the back of the jacket and, like, her hair and, you know, the, um, the bed, everything. It's just beautiful. And then this one is just... She's going to stay up all night waiting for the update tomorrow. And everybody is excited. There's so many excitement, very good uh, images that are on Twitter. And getting prepared for um, why would you do this to poor Merlin? He actually, there's a video. Um, it's coming up. That is his outfit when he's going to Bermuda in the uh, Sword in the Stone angled furniture what's up with that 
Here, see, this is from the Sword in the Stone. That is actually his full outfit. Um, it's not about what, that's his outfit. We're just, we're just giving him what he's been missing. Getting ready to make Candyland for my favorite princess. Deluxe sugar cookie pavement. So yes, if we could have a little bit more flexibility and ease in the pavements being easier to place um, any of the walkways and stuff because I find them, I mean, even in Animal Crossing is a little tedious, but it is extremely, I find it really tedious to do, uh, specifically on the Switch. So if you're on the Switch, it's it's kind of a pain to try and lay a whole lot of stuff. And that's why you don't see a whole lot in my in my game, because it just takes up takes so much time and if you make one little blip it could erase like a whole line and then yeah you know every, we all know <laughs> I don't want to talk negative because the game just brings me so much joy and I'm very excited that on a quick turnaround because we just had an update we're not waiting two and three months for another update and Vanellope is coming in and there's lots of changes major changes with dream snaps so anyway, that is my overview of the uh, nice video tease that the, the um, Dreamlight Valley developers have put out for us. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found some insight and joy of the update that's coming tomorrow. I'm so excited for uh, playing tomorrow. So let's look for some more, possibly more updates before tomorrow. Um, but it will be very exciting to see uh, all the new stuff, having Vanellope in the game, and the quests. It's not just that he, she's coming to the game, but the quests that'll be with her. So anyway, y'all have a wonderful evening. Get lots of rest. Tomorrow is the update. And I, uh, I do appreciate you, every single one of you that comes to my channel, watches... <laughs> part of the video a little bit of the video if you get something out of it I'm so happy um, I put it out there because these are things that I would want somebody to uh, talk about and um, and like I said it brings me so much joy I just love the game and I'm a big Disney fan so thank you for coming um, and have a great adventure in Dreamlight Valley <laughs>